Hello everybody, my name's Nicola and welcome back to The Frugal Cottage where we talk all things money to help you with your financial journey. Now today's video is all about how we plan to retire early. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So why are we planning on retiring early? The main aspect of this is just time, time with our families, time with our children and getting that bit of freedom back from the world of work. I will leave a link below to a blog post where I explain this in more detail. But essentially, we want to retire by the age of 50 from our kind of like nine to five job, if you want to call it. And we need to, in order to be able to do that, kind of bridge the gap between leaving work early and receiving our pensions and whatever age that might be by then. But the plan for our early retirement is to create enough income streams, passive income, so that we don't have to work in a traditional sense. One of the main aspects of this is to create a dividend income stream. I've got a video coming up tomorrow about how I'm doing that, so don't forget to come back tomorrow and check that out. But the, the main part of our plan is to create a dividend income stream that creates enough passive income to pay our fixed expenses. But the reason why we need to do that is because when we are hopefully leaving work at the age of 50, we have a good 16, 17, maybe 18 years by the time we get there before we can access our pensions. And we need to fund all that time in between those two age gaps, if you like. And if you work that out by number, it's actually quite a scary number that you have to try and save and or invest to be able to hit that income stream. The main aspect that we've kind of got on our side at the moment is we've got time on our side. Although we're not getting any younger, we've still got quite a way to go until we hit that point. Quite a way to go, we've got, we've got ages to go until we reach that. And consistency, and I seem to mention the word consistency all the time when talking about finances, but consistently working towards our goal of earlier time will hopefully ensure that we get there. And another aspect of how we're gonna achieve this is we are trying to make our expenses as low as possible when we reach the goal of 50. So things like we also aim to coincide retiring early with being mortgage free. That will mean that our fixed expenses will be much, much lower than they currently are, for example, because we've got a mortgage payment at the moment. But other things like we intend to keep our other expenses fairly minimal, because once we reach the early retirement point, we won't have to save quite so aggressively. We won't be overpaying a mortgage because we'll have got rid of it. And there'll be other things in our budget that we have at the moment that will be no longer apply by the time we get there. Yes, there might be other expenses that kind of crop up as we go along the journey, but by the time we get to the, the golden age of 50, our expenses should be fairly minimal. So that helps in terms of keeping our budget low and the amount we then need to save for early retirement also doesn't seem quite so scary. If you read some American bloggers who are working towards early retirement, their kind of pot of money, the sum that they're aiming for, for some of them is like, five million dollars and as someone who works in education part-time and who does not earn a lot of money far from it that isn't achievable for us we will never in what we do as our jobs earn a lot of money and we're trying to find other ways to reduce our expenses but also like i've got some side hustles going i'll leave a link below to my latest side hustle income report as you'll see it's not very much but all that joined together, all that invested, all the dividends then reinvested will hopefully make sure that we can retire early at the age of 50. My goal in mind is to have saved about £250,000 within a nicer. So when I say saved, I mean invested, but invested about that, which will then give us a dividend income stream, passive dividend income stream, that will pay for all our expenses because our mortgage will no longer be in place. I've worked out that our individual expenses, minus other things at the moment we have to have, like I said, like the savings, like the mortgage payments, things to do with the children that won't apply by then because they'll be much older. Our kind of base level of budget for that is fairly low. So the £250,000 might seem quite a big number, 
But if you look at early retirement goals, it's a really small number compared to what they think you should have. We're hoping to show that two very ordinary people who have fairly low paid jobs can also achieve this just through being fairly mindful of spending, prioritising where our money goes and waiting it out. And that's all we're doing, you know, there's nothing special about us particularly. We're just prioritising where our money goes. We prioritise time with our kids, our families, parents, whoever, making memories rather than spending lots of money on stuff. And don't get me wrong, we have a lot of stuff in our house, the kids have loads of things. But it's prioritising for that future goal as well as trying to live as best we can in the present. But this is our early retirement goal, um, which makes me quite excited, but the numbers make me feel quite apprehensive. I was talking to someone the other day about it and they were like, what well, happens if you don't make it? And I was saying, but if we don't make it by 50, we might make it by 55. And that's still early retirement, it might not seem it compared to some of the ones that retire at age of 30, which I'm going to tell you, the boat is long gone for that. But 50, 55, we're going to try our best and if we manage it at 50, which is the aim, then fantastic. If it takes us a few years longer, because, I don't know, the boys at university need help with costs or a million and one things could pop up in the meantime, then so be it. But we are trying our best and this is our early retirement plan. So again, just saving as much as we can, investing what we can. Like I said, don't forget to come and check out tomorrow's video about that. And then keeping our expenses as low as we can. And you know, it will just make things so much simpler. So what do we aim to do when we get there? So that magical time when we've, when we've, we've made it, so to speak. And we then have more time at home. Do you know what we can do? The main aim for that is spending more time with family. That's the most important thing to us. But the other thing we can do, we can travel, we can go and see places, we can go and visit other people. You know, because it's really difficult to organise when you work all the time and people do different jobs, so the holidays are at different times, all that kind of stuff. So we can travel, we can see people and just have that bit of simpler life. Step back, maybe grow some more fruit and vegetables, taking the time to do things rather than rushing around. A bit like... And somebody said this the other day, isn't this at the moment where we're kind of just at home all the time a bit of a uh, like a test, like a trial run? And it kind of is in a way because we have definitely slowed down in terms of the pace of living. It's quite nice to not have to rush out the door by quarter past seven in the morning. The only thing that will hopefully be different is by the time we get there we'll be able to pop out. We'll be able to go and have like a coffee in a local cafe or go and you know, go and buy things from independent shops, have little day trips out and things when it isn't just the school holidays. The little things like that, and I think the things like that are the most special. As we've found out recently, most of all, I'm not, I'm not envisioning being bothered by not spending on stuff. I am not bothered by spending on stuff already. I'd much rather spend on experiences and making memories rather than buying yet another bag. Although ask my husband and he'll disagree because he thinks I've got far too many bags, but there you go. The idea is that it will just become a lot simpler. So there we go. That is our early retirement plan. I keep having to remind myself of what the numbers are so that I don't get off track. I suggest that if you want to aim for this, which do you know what? Anybody can aim for this. Nothing is there to stop you from trying. It might seem impossible. It does seem impossible at times, but we're going to plan for that and that's what we're aiming for. And I'd love you to join me for the ride, because let me tell you, it's a long, long ride to that. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to leave them below. I love reading comments from people. I will answer them as soon as I can. Um, are you aiming for early retirement? Has it even crossed your mind that you can do so? Let me know. I hope you're okay. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you again very soon.